In order to get a full understanding of how widely spread the virus is, it's important that testing is readily available. Senator Peters agrees and said that over the next couple of weeks, tests should be exponentially more accessible. Tests are starting to ramp up, but it's still not enough. Uh, we're hoping in the next week or two that we can increase uh, that rate substantially. It's been a serious problem uh, for the last couple months. Uh, other countries have responded much more aggressively. South Korea, for example, is now testing uh, tens of thousands of people a day in a much smaller country. In fact, if we were testing to the rate that South Korea is testing in their country, that would mean we're testing uh, nearly a million Americans every single week. We have to get to that point. Right now, we're just in the thousands. Uh, we need to be getting close to a, a million. Uh, and until we do that, we have to assume that uh, the disease is very widespread. We have to take very strong actions as we're doing. Earlier today, the U.S. and Canada agreed to close the border between them. With Michigan being so close to Canada, we asked Senator Peters how this new policy will affect the state. Uh, we believe folks who are necessary or unnecessary business will continue to be able to go across the border. Trade will continue to move across the border. But uh, we do have to be concerned about folks coming from Canada in the United States providing health care. In fact, in the, in the greater Detroit area, over 5,000 nurses uh, live in Windsor and come every day into the Detroit area in southeast Michigan to staff hospitals uh, in southeast Michigan. Uh, we have to make sure those nurses can come to work every day. Uh, we need them on the front lines of providing health care to people in southeast Michigan. And that's why uh, this, uh, you know, this, per, this uh, announcement is one that I'm monitoring very closely. And we're going to make sure that nurses uh, in particular can come across the border and provide the health care treatment that we uh, are going to need. Senator Peters added that things are changing every day, but he is confident that we as a country will get through it. But as uh, we know from the past, even when we've gone through very tough times, uh, we have always come through those. Uh, we've always been stronger as a nation afterwards, but it takes uh, the effort uh, of all of us. And I'm confident we're going to get through this and we're going to be strong.